Shout out to all my guys and goddesses checking out this video, this Patreon exclusive. I am C, the spiritual goddess, here for a another reading. Yes, we are doing a reading on Trey Songs. This is sort of like a part two. Actually, this is a part two on the curious case of Trey Songs. Yes, guys and goddesses. If you are checking out this video, leave me some crystal balls in the chat to pass good vibes we need some good vibes for this reading so we are going to be getting into trey songs if you haven't watched my first video make sure you guys watch that i was meditating on the energy recently trey songs got accused of fighting someone yes charges haven't been brought up i yet i did hear if i'm not mistaken you guys can correct me in the comments but allegedly he could have assaulted uh, a young lady and the police are looking into this so we're going to see what's to come of this we're also going to pick up the energy of trey songs uh, if you watched the first video i did say in my video that trouble is going to be following trey songs the other case did get shut because of reasons, I do stand behind feeling that there's going to be multiple cases. We're going to hear a lot more stuff come out about Trey Songs. I do feel though, guys, um, Trey Songs has someone behind him. Trey Songs have, has powerful forces behind him, people in the industry that's really supporting him during this time. I do feel like a lot of stuff gets covered up, but there is going to be a lot more things that comes out. And I do feel like he won't be able to r run from it. I do have to say the tarot readings are for entertainment purposes. My interpretations is just that my interpretations, everything is alleged. So we are going to pull. I want to see what happened. What actually happened between Trey Songs and that young lady? Is she telling the truth, spirit? Tell me more. What was the overall energy i am seeing this bathroom here trey songs is on substances guys heavy substances i do see some mental stuff going on there um he has a good team surrounding him trey songs what happened spirit tell me what happened what happened guys i'm picking up that this this is just the energy spirit is telling me that young lady, she's definitely telling the truth. I do see an assault happen. I, I I don't, I'm not picking up video or footage, but I do pick up, we're going to see, we may see photos of her. I don't know why I'm getting a sense. Trey songs, I, I get these, these, this energy of someone who goes on binges, right? They go on binges. I don't know what he's addicted to or what he's on. But I'm picking up someone who goes on frequent binges and then they lash out. That's the energy. Um, I'm also getting a sense he could really have money issues. I don't see his money really doing as well as far as, as it used to do. However, he has friends in the industry. He has friends in the industry. He has people in high places. That's the vibe I'm getting that really helps him out and keeps things out of the media. That's what spirit is telling me. I wouldn't be surprised if we hear people saying that they covered up things from him. I wouldn't be surprised if we see that. Trey Songz is going to try to come out and do damage control. I definitely see him doing an interview or talking to someone, um, trying to blame it on industry, politics, blackballing, or something of that nature. I wouldn't be surprised if we see him coming out because he does feel like his career is in jeopardy. There's going to be too many cases that piles up, guys. I'm definitely seeing that. I'm definitely seeing industry politics is what Spirit is saying. And it's not really being in his favor. Um, let's get into it. Let's see. What is going to be the outcome of Trey Songs? What's going on with Trey Songs? What do you guys think in the comments? Let me know. All right, let me get Trey Songs over. I don't know what I'm getting. I'm picking up once again mental mental illnesses. This is not an excuse. But I'm definitely getting that shadow side. Yeah. 
He plays the game really, really well. That charming game. Oh, we're, we're going to hear about a vicious story, guys. There's This is not the worst of what's going to come out, honestly. There's a woman, and I don't know why I'm getting a sense. There's going to be some damaging evidence. There's a woman either he was in a relationship with or once again, and I know I said this in my other reading, there's someone that's going to come out that's going to really have some evidence and it's not going to be good. It's going to show Trey Songs for who he truly is. I do feel like people are waking up, but there's going to be something that comes out about him. This woman, she's going to be known. We're going to find out about, it could be someone he's dating. He's dated before. I am definitely getting stalker vibes or something of that nature. Um, this is someone who's going to bring the truth. This truth, this is going to kick out the, off the truth. Rory really spoke out about something. I wouldn't be surprised if this is someone very close to him who's going to speak. But yeah, Trey Songz is going to be exposed for who he truly is. He doesn't have much going on for him now, guys. I do see the little he does have for him that's going to be drawing back. I don't know if he has an upcoming movie deal or something coming up that's going to be announced or something he's trying to do, but it's, it's going to be pulled. I wouldn't be surprised if you guys see Trey Songz move <laughs> or he moves his assets early, I, I, like the little assets he do, he does have, especially seeing what happened to R. Kelly. I don't know. <laughs> But yeah, guys, we're going to see some more stuff that comes out about Trey Songs. But there's some particular woman, and I feel like this is a, a woman that he had a relationship with. That this is going to be something he can't ignore. Yeah, under under the car under the deck, it's going to say ego death. This is going to be very nasty. I keep seeing footage. I wouldn't be surprised if some type of footage comes out whoever's cat going to catch him is going to catch him in some footage um or some type of civil suit something is going to and guys if you see so i know we always think when someone comes out with a civil suit it means that they are automatically oh it's a money grab that's what they want that's not necessarily the case all the time that's not necessarily the the case um yeah this is it's sometimes that's your best bet to get justice, especially if you can't like there's a statute of limitations and I am seeing, yeah, I'm seeing that that may be this person's route to justice. The same thing I say about Jessica Reed, you know, I do think if Jessica Reed, um, to, to, to divert wants true justice, wants Charlemagne to pay for what he did, if you guys want me to do a reading on that, let me know. We can do that. Allegedly, for what he allegedly did, the best route because the statute of limitations would be a civil suit. And that's the vibe I'm getting for this girl, this woman here. Something about her hair stand out. I don't know if she has, like, in her interview, I don't know her hair. Something about her hair is going to stand out. Maybe she wore an afro or something or... Her hair and her body. She's a very gorgeous woman, but I feel like this is going to be so strikingly beautiful. I don't know why they're standing out. Her hair, something about her hair. I don't know. When I channel energy, I see features. This is going to be someone who's going to come out. And I don't feel like it's going to be like a what I feel like the other girls went wrong with that lawyer, or like a Tasha K situation or anything like that. I feel like this is going to be a credible person. Wouldn't be surprised if we see them on like something like a Good Morning America or something like that. With this damning evidence that's going to come out about Trey Songs. Yeah, guys, Trey Songs is going to do an interview. He's going to talk. He's going to try to do damage control. He's going to try to come out. He's going to try to say things. It's going to first. You're going to have some people who's going to probably try to believe, probably believe it. Um, but yeah, it's going to be a, um, some tea. Okay, I'm gonna give y'all a little story time. Allegedly, so y'all know when Trey Songs. So I'm from the D. Detroit, my hometown, that's where I'm from. So y'all remember when Trey Songs got into that trouble? Um, and I think it was, it might have been one of our um, holiday jams. We have like, we have summer jams, but I don't think this was summer. I think this was a concert. It may have been either summer jam or uh, the big show. One of them shows Trey Songs was at, and he cut up. He got into it with Detroit police because he started wrecking the stage, right? 
Y'all, word around town allegedly was Trey Songz was off some beans. He was off a lot of stuff. Trey Songz, you know, they said, that's what they said, child. And I'm not saying it's true or not. I'm just going to say allegedly. But they said he was acting very erratic. Some people were saying it was, they don't think it was just the substance, though. They're saying, like, yeah, they think it was more to that. Like, but I'm going to tell you, people love Trey Songz uh, here, child. You got some people who really love Trey Songz, but they do say he gives erratic vibes. You know, he's a sweetheart, but he does give those vibes, child. I don't know what you guys think. Do you guys think Trey Songz is innocent? Do you guys think he's guilty? Let me know. I'm so curious to hear from you all. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the Migos video that I posted. Let me know some more readings you guys want me to do. Do you guys want me to do a Charlamagne and Jessica read? Leave me some questions. Um, I'm so curious to hear from you all. Until then, all my gods and goddesses, see you in the next video. Peace.